Hey guys, Nurse Mike here, World Heavyweight Champion of Nurses, and welcome to my kitchen. So, uh, I thought I'd try to do a quick little cooking video for you guys today. Uh, today we're going to make some uh, protein pancakes. Uh, actually, peanut butter, banana, nut protein pancakes. So, uh, let's see how it goes. So for our recipe today, you need an egg, you need your pancake mix, your protein supplement, your PB2 peanut butter, some nuts, some bananas, and some water. So I think we should talk about um, the type of protein you want to use uh, in these. Now I like to use the, the Kodiak cakes, obviously. Um, they have about 14 grams of protein in them per serving, uh, which is pretty good. There are uh, carbs in that, but I mean it's pancakes, so you're going to have carbs, guys. But in terms of the protein, uh, the supplemental protein that you use, that's totally up to you. Uh, I happen to like uh, the Pro Gym formulas. Uh, they make them in a lot of flavors. Uh, for this, I'm using uh, uh, vanilla. It's basic. It uh, goes well with the peanut butter and the bananas. But uh, I like the Pro Gym because it's a, a combination. It's whey protein, uh, milk protein, egg protein. It's got a little bit of everything, so I happen to like those. Uh, so let's get to putting our ingredients together. All right. This is a great time to use those old bananas that have kind of been sitting on the uh, on the counter for a little bit and got a little brown because uh, when you take them out, they mash up really well. Um, get that nice little kind of paste consistency to it, and uh, just makes it easier to mix into the into the batter. So before you get to cooking, you always want to try to measure out all your ingredients, which is what I've done here. So we've got our scoop of pancake mix, our scoop of our protein, our two tablespoons of PB2, our bananas, our nuts, and I did two cups of water. We'll see what we need. So our eggs are already in there. We're going to add our scoop of pancake mix. Very nice. We're going to add our scoop of our Pro Gym protein. Just like that. Very nice. Uh, we're going to add our PB2, okay, it's two tablespoons, I know that's just one, okay, we're going to scoop in our mashed bananas, those are two bananas, you can use as many as you like, I find that two works just well, just make sure you get it all in there, get it all off the plate, come on, get off there, all right, uh, we're going to add about a half a bag of nuts, it's about an ounce, uh, it's really all you need, if you want more, depends on what you like. Uh, just dump them in there. And then in terms of the water, uh, usually for uh, one scoop of pancake mix, it requires one cup of water. So we're going to start with one cup of water, uh, maybe a little less. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll mix this up. Uh, we'll start mixing this up and see what kind of consistency we get. Uh, it's really, you don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thin. You want a nice, uh, nice consistency. Uh, that'll flow onto the griddle. So once you mix, you get that nice consistency. It drips a little bit off of uh, off the beater. It's not too thick, not too thin. Uh, I think this is going to be perfect for what we need to do. All right. Now, how you guys cook your pancakes is totally up to you. I've seen people use frying pans. You can use cast iron. I'm lucky enough where my stove comes with this great uh, griddle feature. Uh, which is really nice. Um, so uh, how they're cooked, I've seen people do them on the grill. I don't know how you grill pancakes. Uh, I think they would fall through, but you do what you got to do. How you cook them is up to you. Now, we went from the bowl here, and we took our mix, and we put it into uh, a measuring cup just to make it easier to pour. I mean, I like easy things. Uh, if I can make less of a mess, then I'm going to do that. So... That's how we're going to go with the pancakes. So you want to prep your grill with a little bit of Pam cooking spray or butter or whatever you like. And uh, pour out your pancakes. Now how big you choose to make these is entirely up to you. Uh, I don't like them too big. And obviously uh, the larger the pancake, the more calories and protein and fat that's going to be in there. Uh, it also, I suppose, depends on the size of your cooking surface. So once those bubbles stop popping... Give them a flip, usually about a minute, with that nice golden brown color. 
Uh, and after you cook all your pancakes, ta-da, you have a pancake stack. Don't eat these all at once. That would be too many. Alrighty. So we've made our pancakes, and now it comes down to the most important part, the bite. So I did add a little bit of uh, sugar-free syrup to these. Um, you can use whatever you like. Obviously, it adds calories, but uh, let's give it a taste. Yeah, you definitely get that banana right away. The texture is very nice. It, it's got that, that kind of moistness uh, of a good pancake, uh, mostly due to the, the banana that's in there. You get a little crunch from that walnut, which is really nice. They don't have uh, a real protein taste to them, and, and a lot of times when you're doing uh, protein-based foods, you can get that protein taste to it. And this doesn't have that, uh, which is quite nice. Um, now, what you guys want to know is numbers and calories and all that. So, this batch made 11 pancakes. And really, you can adjust that to however big you want to make the pancakes. You want to make smaller pancakes, it's going to be less. You want to make bigger, it's bigger. Uh, but for 11 pancakes, each pancake is 10 and a half carbs, um, about 1.7 grams of fat, and 6 grams of protein. Um, I had two, so it's double everything. The nice thing about these is they freeze really well. Uh, throw them in a bag, throw them in the freezer. Uh, you can heat them up in the microwave, and the toaster is perfect, uh, and have them whenever you want. I don't know how long they keep for. Uh, I'll let you know in about six to eight months. But uh, try to make them. Enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my first shot at a cooking video, at a recipe video. You let me know how it went. And uh, eat healthy, stay strong, keep to your programs, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Be good.